Hi. Have you ever wondered what schools are up to in our fast-paced, high-demand world? Well, there are a few schools in Perth that are innovative thinkers and have the courage to step out of the norm. Here's an excerpt from our presentation this morning at one of Perth's leading private schools, Guildford Grammar School. Check it out. Thank you. I acknowledge the traditional owners, past, present and future, Mr Weber, Mr Evans, distinguished teachers, gentlemen. I'm a churchy old boy. Church is one of your brother's schools in Queensland. And uh, for most of my schooling life, I felt like I just had to survive. First as a boarder in year five, and then later as a day boy in senior. One thing got me through that struggle, and it was coming through. I started learning when I was three years old. It was tough at times. The world was a little different. Acceptance of Asians and Chinese was very different in Brisbane. But Kung Fu got me through. I'm not talking about fighting either. Who's here to Bruce Lee? Hands up. Cool. What about Jackie Chan? Awesome. Oh, here's a fun one. What about Poe? Excellent. I was glad to see it. Fat Panda also has the same notoriety. Let me show you something. I need five volunteers. Just come up, first five. One, thank you. Good hey, let's have some fun. So this is Jung. He's my oldest child. Uh, Jung is uh, currently one of two West Australians who are on the Australian team this year to compete in China. So one of the old sports or the activities that we had to practice in ancient time was uh, an exercise that enables us to enhance our fighting skills without hurting each other. It's a really important point because if you guys were all an army and each time you practice you hurt each other then we're just weakening ourselves. So this exercise we call push hands. Now the idea is to unbalance your partner so that they are on the ground. Today we don't have mats. So we're going to be gentle with each other but you've got to try. So, these gents that have come up here, well done. John weighs 60 kilos. He's not heavy. He's not the tallest guy either, just like me, his dad. Um, but the idea is that you boys will get one minute each to see if you can push John around and make him fall on the floor. How's that? What do you guys reckon? Does that sound like a good game? Okay. So, Who's first? What's your name? Quinn. Okay, thanks Quinn. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, and time. Well done Quinn, keep going. So what do you guys think? Alright? So that's all in great fun and of course it takes uh, a few lessons for you to learn some of the fundamentals of Kung Fu. Question. Hands up if any of you felt like a part of your life has been a struggle this week. Cool. Hands up if you think part of your life has been a struggle at least once this year. Excellent. Thank you for your honesty. Well, my job is to share with you the tools from Kung Fu that can help you thrive 
not just survive. I can show you the shortest way to learn the most important things. Some tools in your arsenal to help you deal with those low points in your day, week, term or year. It's tough. As Mr. Weber had pointed out, we all have many distractions and we're constantly multitasking. Our lives are busy and it's not going to go away. Sometimes it's good to be able to turn to ancient practices like meditation, like Kung Fu. It helps us deal with those low points, those difficult times. It can happen every day. So come and join me on Fridays. So what did you think about that? Please comment below. I'd like to hear some of your feedback. Thanks. See ya.